phenomenal when you get here. You've got the nicest guys helping you out, uh, nice cup of coffee and everything, and you can check everything. All, all the facilities are amazing, man. Yeah. And we'll put the, the directions and all the details, proper directions. Yeah. yeah the story to tell. Yes. But all the details will be known as always. But guys, how cool is that? Starting. Guys, we go with Will Harris. This is the man who's made everything possible. Well, how long have you been into aviation in the balloon? Uh, since 1976. Wow. We started the business in 1981. Wow. And how long have you been situated here? Uh, 22 years. 22 years. As you can, guys can see, the clubhouse looks beautiful. Look at all the people waiting. Well, how did COVID affect your business now? Uh, very badly. We were well hopefully everything works out and I'm sure after this all the SA Pro family are gonna come and join you and come and well, come support so. yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Last, okay. come, yeah. And come and join Bill, come and do something it's super special, very unique and it's a once in a lifetime thing, really. But check out Bill Hart, come chat to this man. So, just a little bit of information here. A, a, a pertinent question there, how do we steer it or are we steering it? No, we're not. <laughs> I'm going this way because the wind is going this way. So, all I can do is make use of whatever winds are available and it's my job to actually go and find the winds that I want to use in a particular direction. Okay. On the ground, you saw when we took off, we were moving along, yeah. not briskly, but we were moving along towards the dam over there and then I climbed out of it and we kind of stopped. We're slowing down. Oh, okay, so you go up and down to up. find the wind. That's okay. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. So you'll always find balloons are doing that up and down. Sometimes it's the scenery. Sometimes it just feels like it. But more often than not, it's because of looking for winds to steer the balloon. Okay. And are we going to land back there, or are we landing somewhere else? Probably somewhere else. You'll see that I'm really nice to my crew. Dong dong. That okay. yeah. goes. <laughs> Check the runway. Chris. Chris, he just played. <laughs>
Pedro! Will you catch me? Are you sure? He'll catch me. Kiss it. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow balloonists, friends, crew, and others, all protocols observed, including COVID, <laughs> citation, ad astra per ardua, which is Latin. Uh, you speak Latin, don't you? No, but apparently it means to the skies through hard work. What a student, there you go. <laughs> Whereas, it is here my confirmed that the following people all had the courage and fortitude to ascend as few other earthly mortals would dare unto the ether. This is my best report in English. <laughs> and thus joined the great and daring company of intrepid aeronaut explorers. So if anybody asks you what an aeronaut is, you can tell me he is intrepid, because it's a so that. Who have been transported in an aerostat, floating on the gentle zephyrs over the vast, oh, sorry, vast, <laughs> very vast <laughs> continent of Africa, it says here. That was done and signed by your captains, Flip Stein and Mark Nuttall. Both captains of Phil Harris' original balloon safari, South Africa. Take no cheap imitation. <laughs> On this, the 11th day of April, 319 shopping days to Christmas. Oh. <laughs> well, we've got Easter over, we've got to get on with the next one, haven't we? <laughs> now, I'd like to thank you all for flying with us and uh, enabling us to share our passion with you. And we hope we've created some long and lifetime memories for you. In closing, I'd first of all like to thank the people who slaves away at the back there making this beautiful breakfast. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. And the crew, wherever they may be. And I have two little questions to ask you. One, in Bill Harp's original balloon safaris, good enough is not good enough. We all want to be excellent in everything we do. So if there's any areas where you think we could improve things, apart from cutting the price in half, then <laughs> I'm, I'm all ears. And finally, probably most of you found out about us on social media. If you did, please give us a good write-up, give us a few stars. Not for me, but for all the great people who work in this business. We'd really appreciate it. And guys, thank you for giving us a great flight. See you again. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, right, Bill. So, what are we what are we busy with here? Well, we're going to have Northumbrian porridge. Northumbrian. Why is it called Northumbrian porridge? Because it comes from my county of Northumberland in the United Kingdom, and because of this porridge, yeah. the Kingdom of Northumberland ruled half of southern Scotland and most of northern England. Because porridge was good for them. All right. Now here you go. To do it, it's, it's a, a, a nice dollop of porridge. Yeah. It's good porridge if half of it sticks to the spoon. Okay? Yes. True. Then, salt. Yeah. Just salt. A sprinkle. Sugar. And a dollop. A dollop of cream. And then, a dribble of whiskey. Just say when. When? Pardon? When? What? When? Oh, okay. <laughs> now. There you go. Now, when you eat it, yes, don't mix it all up together. Take a bit of cream with the whiskey, yeah. the salt and the sugar, and the other taste will all come through. It's a, a very simple dish, but it's very beautiful, and you really enjoy it. Okay. Thank you so much, Will. And when you're driving home, if they say, have you been drinking, sir? You can say, no, but I had four porridge. Okay, I had no thumb in porridge. Yes. Okay, enjoy. And guys, come and have a look here. Let me show you what else is on, on the menu here. Over here you can see they got lovely beans. Sorry, lovely. This is a, a traditional bean dish. Yes. Slightly spicy. Tomatoes. 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 We'll be making more. Over here we got some scrambled eggs. Yeah, a bit late. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looking good. And then over here is my favorite section. Look at that. 
some lots of bacon left. Yeah, it's kosher bacon. Oh yeah, it's kosher bacon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and cheat there, our chicken soup. Oh man. So and all the healthy food is over here. Off to a great flight. You see this world with a great, great meal, a great breakfast. Great over here we got to the, the healthy stuff. Cookies, cheeses, fruit salad, jams, fruit salad, yeah. some yogurt. And lovely juices. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you. So, it's not just the flying that's the experience. It's the breakfast. It's the friends you meet. It's the people you chat with. It's it's phenomenal. Thank you so much. Bill. Thank you. Woo.